Welcome to this video about the reactions between acids and metals. In this video you will learn what happens when metals react with acids, how to write the word and symbol equations for reactions between metals and acids, and you will learn how to test for hydrogen. Some metals react with acids to form a salt and hydrogen. The general word equation is metal plus acid reacts to salt plus hydrogen. When we do this experiment and we put a metal strip, for example magnesium, into a dilute acid, we will be able to see bubbles of gas rising to the surface. These bubbles come from the hydrogen and the scientific term for this is effervescence. So we see effervescence when we see bubbles. Now we are going to look at how to write the word equations. As mentioned before, the general word equation is metal plus acid reacts to salt plus hydrogen. We are now going to look at a specific example. So we have magnesium, which is the metal, and hydrochloric acid, which is our acid. They react to a salt called magnesium chloride. Remember from before that hydrochloric acid always forms chlorides and hydrogen. Now we are going to transform this into a symbol equation. The symbol for magnesium is Mg, the formula for hydrochloric acid HCl, and they react to magnesium chloride, the formula is MgCl2 plus H2 for hydrogen. Now there's only one more thing we need to do to balance this equation, and that is to put a 2 in front of the HCl for hydrochloric acid. Now we are going to look at a second example. This time we have calcium reacting with nitric acid. So the metal is calcium and the acid now is nitric acid and they react to a salt called calcium nitrate and hydrogen. Again we are going to transform this into the symbol equation. The symbol for calcium is Ca. The formula for nitric acid HNO3. This reacts to calcium nitrate. The formula is CaNO32 plus H2 for hydrogen. Again, to balance this equation, we just have to put a 2 in front of the nitric acid here. Now we are going to look at some more examples. Now we have barium reacting with sulfuric acid. Barium is a metal, sulfuric acid the acid. Now have a little think yourself what the two products would be. You can pause the video and have a think about what the salt would be called and what else is formed. The salt formed in this reaction is barium sulfate. Remember sulfuric acid forms sulfates and then we also have the hydrogen, which is also formed. Now, again, you can pause the video and have a think about how we can transform this into a symbol equation. The symbol for barium is Ba and the formula for sulfuric acid H2SO4. And they react to barium sulfate BaSO4 plus H2 for hydrogen. We do not have to do anything else now to balance this equation. It is already balanced. Let's have a go at another example. This time the metal we are looking at is iron and iron is reacting with sulfuric acid. Again, you can pause the video and have a think about what the two products could be from this reaction. The salt that is formed is called iron sulfate and again we are also forming hydrogen. Now you can pause the video again and have a think about how we can transform this into a symbol equation. 
the symbol for iron is Fe and the formula for sulfuric acid H2SO4 so this reacts to FeSO4 for iron sulfate plus H2 again we do not have to balance this equation it is already balanced now we are going to look at the last bit which is how can you test for hydrogen the test for hydrogen is called the squeaky pop test what you have to do to do this test is you have to hold a burning splint into a test tube and if hydrogen is present you will hear a popping sound and that is a test for hydrogen. 